All right, welcome to Taxonomy Online Mathematics. We have a question on business mathematics, NovDEC 2024. A business, this is question 6A. A business woman bought a printing machine for $8,000 and later sold it at a loss of 15%. She spent $3,500 of the amount received from the sale and invested the rest at 7% per annum compound interest. So we have to calculate the interest in after four years. So this is basically we are paying attention to the compound interest, the interest compounded for four years, which we can calculate a year by year compounded with the, uh, the principal or we take a formula. Now before we need that, we need the principal meaning the money that has been invested, which is the rest that has been invested, we don't know. So we need to know that calculation from here. So first thing first, we know that the cost price, which we have as CP, is going to be the actual cost of the, the machine, which is what? 8,000, so this is the cost. Now we need to also know the selling price. What to be the selling price after he buy it? She bought it, okay? Selling price. So we have SP. Now, the selling price is going to be a loss of 15%. So to find the selling price, it means we are not going to have 100% price, meaning the 100% which is the 8,000 there will be a reduction in that uh, percentage to 85, right? So it means that the wealth of the machine with being sold will just be 85%. It means 85% of this very, very uh, price. So I can just say it will be 100 minus 15 or percent give us what? 85% of the cost price. We are just going to find the 85% of the cost price, which we can say that SP equals to 85% means 100, 85% uh, uh, means 85 of 100, right? Times the $8,000. So we know these two zeros, we'll clear this. So we are left with only 85 times 80. So let's see what that will be. That will give us 6800 $6, uh, So this is the, the new price or the amount that the woman is having at hand now. Now, in this amount, he spent 3500 So we can say that amount spent is $3,000. Is it 500? Yeah, 3,500. So we can say that amount left will become what I have at hand, 6,800 minus the 3,500. So we should be having somewhere 3,300. But let's see. So we have $3,300. So this is now the principal. The principal that we have is now $3,300. What again do we need? We need a read. And the read is 7 word percent. What again is needed? Time. So we can also say that time which is N, is going to be four years. So what are we looking for? We need an interest, but before then, we need to know the total amount at the end of the four years. So amount will be equal to the principal times one plus R over 100 times N. We can use T. 
where the n is the four years, the r is the read. Here we are using the r already is a read. So don't make a mistake. If you are going to be unable to have seven percent on top of hundred, it is actually the seven percent representation. So seven on hundred, which is this. So we don't have it seven percent on hundred. That will have been only seven. So take note of that. So this will mean that I have my 3,300 plus, this is going to be, okay, 1 plus 7%, that's 7 over 100, will be 0 0.07 raised to the power 4. So what do we do? We know this in here is going to be 1 plus uh, 0 0.07, that will be 1.07. So I should be having... 3,300 multiplying 1.07 raised to the power of 4. So fast forward, 3,300 will now multiply that value we have in the bracket, 1.07 raised to the power of 4. And that should be 1.07. 310796. I think we can just put all this in the calculator together and that direct in order to not to truncate the decimal number that we have. So now when you use 3300 to multiply that decimal, our amount right will now become this and this. So we have four. 325.63. Since we are dealing with uh, money, we have two decimal places. This is the amount. This is just the amount. But we are looking for the interest end. We know that uh, amount equals to principal plus what? Interest. Therefore, the interest will be the amount minus what? Principal. So our 4,325. Point sixty-three cent minus the principal, which we had as three thousand three hundred. So if that is out of the way, we should be having our interest equals to one thousand and twenty-five point four sixty-three cent. So this is the interest aim when this money is kept in the, uh, in the bank or in the compound interest of four, four years at the rate of 7%. So this is what is going to be the interest. I guess the concept is clear. Now, instead of using the direct formula, we can also find the interest one after the other, meaning the interest on this at the rate of this. Do you get it? For that year. Then in the next year, your interest will be added onto the principal to become the new principal for the next year. So we do it in four subsection. You we'll still come back to the same place. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.